Today I'm going to talk about TAVI or TAVR, which literally means transfemoral aortic valve replacement. All of us have four valves in our heart. One of the valves is called aortic valve, and that's the door through which all the blood with the oxygen goes through the rest of your body from the heart. Now, over the time, the wear and tear of the lifetime, your valve gets a bit rattled and it gets narrowed over the period of time. A lot of calcium starts depositing and it does not open the way it should open. Now that creates a lot of problems. Sometimes people feel chest pain, sometimes breathlessness, but it happens in such a subtle way that most time people are completely unaware of those symptoms. It is diagnosed simply by doing a simple scan of your heart called transthoracic echocardiogram. Now that ultrasound tells us if you do have that problem and if you do have it, how bad is it? Well, historically speaking, the valve was changed with the bypass surgery. That means you cut open the chest of a person, remove the old valve, put a new one in, sew it in, stitch it, close the chest, and that's it. That's a historical way of treating it. However, in the past couple of decades now, there are more and more advances in technology and now we are able to replace that valve through a keyhole. In that keyhole surgery, you, what you do is you go through somebody's leg through a keyhole and you pass some tubes. Through those tubes, you advance a valve in the place where it should be. You squash the previous valve, place a new one in there that stays there and it starts working. Most of these patients are done under local anesthesia. However, in certain patients, we have to give the general anesthesia too. These patients, they are discharged either the same day or the following day. But if you consider the potential risks with not treating it, the risk of complications is quite small. It's a very safe procedure and according to all the guidelines now, anyone who's 75 plus, if they have severe aortic stenosis, they should be considered for a percutaneous uh, replacement of the aortic valve. Thank you very much.